So this question is a translate word problem question. Let's read it and see if there's anything to write down based upon what we've read. So it says a radioactive substance decays at an annual rate of 13%. I'm going to translate that as down 13% per year. If the initial amount of the substance is 325 grams, I'm going to write that down as well, 325 grams. Which of the following functions F models the remaining amount of the substance in grams T years later? So the remaining amount is a very important uh, word, some very important word choice here. So if I think about this, if I'm starting out at 325, right, the next year I'm going to have that 325, but I'm going to subtract from that 13% of the 325. The next year, whatever that answer was, right, whatever this is, I'm going to subtract another 13% of whatever that value is. So in essence, if it's asking me how much of the substance remains, right, if I'm starting off with 100% of a substance and then I'm decreasing it by 13% of a substance, then what I'm left with is 87, right, because this is, I'm just subtracting 100% minus 13 is equal to 87%. On this test, anytime you have a percentage, you're going to write it as a decimal. So 87% as a decimal is 0 0.87. So the only answer choice that has 0 0.87 associated with the number of years that we are um, decaying is answer choice A. The only other one that actually has the 0.87 is choice C, but as you can see there, I'd be raising my initial amount to the T power, which is definitely not what I want to do. This value here is going to get larger and larger over time, whereas this value here is going to get smaller and smaller over time. Um, I'm sorry, this value here is going to get smaller and smaller over time. Therefore, choice A is the correct answer.